this segment we're going to work on balance and strength. If you want, you can just tap the floor or you can bring that leg up. We're going to work the front raise and the lateral raise at the same time. So you just do what's best for you on this one. If the sun sets you free, you are truly free, right? When Christ sets you free of all your worry, stress, anxiety, knowing that He is your Father, I mean, that's freedom right there. Keep working, working on this balance, exhaling as you lift, inhaling as you lower. Just take your time. You're doing fantastic. You are free. Isn't it an awesome feeling to be free to move and breathe and just be? who God has called you to be. Let's go ahead and switch your legs. Again, you can just tap as you want and then lift that one arm, that opposite arm out, or you can physically bring that foot off your floor. Love is patient and love is kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud. When I think about love, I think about Jesus and his sacrifice that he made for each one of us. That's love. That he would sacrificially give of himself for us. And um, I mean, it gets me real emotional at times when I think about it, what Christ has done for us. He went to that cross, he died, he was buried, and then he rose and he set us free, right? From our sins so that we could live with him eternally. Let's do that one more time. Nice work. Okay, this next one, we're gonna work with one leg and then one arm. So go ahead and do a front lunge and a bicep curl. Let's do that again. So exhale as you're stepping forward and as you're moving that arm. When you are tempted, God will show you a way out. He always does. He shows you a way out and he shows you that you can endure, that you can get through this. There's always a way out. You know, you're in the middle of a conversation and someone starts gossiping or talking bad about someone. Well, guess what? There's a way out. You can say, you know, I really don't wanna talk about this. I don't feel like that's the right thing to do here. I mean, now that's bold. It takes a lot of confidence from the Lord to do that but that's your way out, just be bold. All right, let's take the opposite leg and then the opposite arm and just step front and exhale as you're doing that and inhale as you come back. Anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. The old life is gone and a new life has begun. I mean, don't you remember the change when you first met Christ, when you openly opened your heart and said, Jesus, I need you. Don't you remember how that felt like? Or maybe you don't know him and you want to know him. All you have to do is say, Jesus, I need you in my heart. Father, please help me right now, right where I'm at. And he will transform you and he will transform me from the inside out. Let's do that one more time. All right, this next one, you're gonna go ahead and bring one leg back. And this is a tricep kickback. So you can place the other um, hand in front and just start to kick back that weight, bringing the shoulders down. The fruit of the spirit, now listen to this one. The fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. That's the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And we wanna wear those fruits every single day. I know I don't have all those down to a fine art, but I'm working towards them every day. Each of us, are a work in progress, right? Each of us are. One more. Let's go ahead and switch legs. Bring the opposite leg back 
and bring that opposite arm back as you kick back, working your tricep muscles, engaging the core. Every time I think of you, I give thanks to my God. You know, there's people in your life, you're like, Lord, I'm so thankful that person or those people are in my life. We should be giving thanks that God has placed people in our life. We should be giving thanks that Jesus saved us and set us free from our sins, right? So give thanks for those who are around you, who are in your path. Give thanks for those you don't know yet that God's gonna send your way. Above all, give thanks for Jesus Christ, recognizing Him in everything that you do. One more. This next one, you're just gonna keep the weights in front of you. Um, slightly bend the knees and start to move side to side. Fix your thoughts on what is true. Is it true? Is it honorable? Is it right? Is it pure, lovely, and admirable? Think about those things that are excellent and worthy of praise. So those are the things we should stay focused on. Not the toxic junk that weighs us down, that's negative, but think about those things above, those things that are praiseworthy and true. Ask yourself, is it true? What does God have to say about that? So on this one, we're working the obliques, just simply going side to side. We're breathing through this and you're doing a fantastic job. Coming up next, we will continue strengthening our bodies and hearts for God's purposes. Go ahead and grab one weight. We're gonna revisit that front lunge chop. So bring your weight over one shoulder, step forward lunge, a chop, and then step right back. Let's do that again. He renews my strength and he guides me along right paths, bringing honor to his name. So we've talked about the direction we need to go in this show today. God leading us as we lean into Him, right? So if you wanna know which way you need to go, just ask God first thing in the morning. Listen, read your Bible, and um, just be real attentive to how God is speaking to your heart. We're working on, of course, that lower body the upper body and the waist. One more. Let's go ahead and switch sides and switch legs. All right, so go ahead, step front and then chop across. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. I do not know how many times I need to say that to myself. Teresa, what are you doing? Don't depend upon your own understanding. Trust God. He's got it all worked out for you. All you have to do is be obedient, right? And step out in faith. So we're gonna keep moving through this, working the lower body, working the obliques and the upper body, and of course, breathing. Let's check our alignment and our posture. Readjust anything you need to adjust. Let's do that one more time. Nice job. Let's go ahead and pick up both weights now and bring your feet a little apart or wider. Hinge forward into a deadlift. Stay right here. Then row those arms and stand right back up. So inhale on your hinge, exhale as you do that double arm and then stand up using your lower body and your upper body, your mid back. Seek his will in all that you do and he will show you which path to take. God, I need to know your direction today. Father, sometimes I'm feeling lost and I don't seek you like I should. Please forgive me, Lord, in those times. Help me to rely upon you, Father, and where you're leading me. Let's do that a few more times. 
All right, the next exercise, you can use lighter weights or heavier. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some lighter. Bring those feet apart. And I'm gonna take one arm, reach it across to the other foot, and then press it right on up there. Shoulder press. God says, for I know the plans I have for you. God knows your plans. He knows them well. After all, He wrote them out for you. So we just trust Him as He leads us. We're breathing. We're doing our life. We're praying. We're proclaiming that our family is going to bring praise and glory to God. We trust Him and we're obedient. And we say, yes, Lord. Yes, Father. Yes, Lord, I'll do that. One more. Go ahead and switch the arms. And again, hinge forward. Make sure your navel's to the spine. Breathe through this. Feel that stretch in the back of your legs, in your hips, and in your glutes. And you remember how Christ taught his disciples to pray? Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Father, we pray your will be done. Father, we pray you have your way with us every day, Lord. As we move and breathe, go about our daily life, we just trust God. We think about Him. He is on our mind 24-7. One more. Now bring the feet in. Bring those weights out front and just simply rotate just side to side. And again, breathing through this, thinking about your alignment. Fix your thoughts. Remember this one on what is true. Ask yourself, is this true? Is it honorable and right? Is it pure and lovely and admirable? God says to think about those things that are excellent and worthy of praise. Those are the things we need to be focused on as we move and breathe and work and do our home life and our church life and our social life. Trusting God, leaning on our, our own understanding, breathing all the way through it. You did so good. Great job. Thank you for allowing me in your home today. I hope you're motivated to continue preparing yourself to be the best you can be as we continue exercising and praising God together. He will bless our bodies and hearts for His purposes. It is God who made us and breathed His Spirit in us so that we can encourage others to live for Him. Until next time, my friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you safe healthy and strong in your body, mind, and spirit. Tune in next time as we continue shaping bodies and hearts for God's purposes with Teresa Rowe as we all become shaped by faith.